Alrighty, how's it going my guys? Welcome back to Ranked Double Battles. Last episode, I got to show off the full power that is the Escavalier. I put it on my team specifically for last year because I, as you, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I keep losing to it. And I was tired of it. So, I decided to build a Pokemon that could counter it, and Escavalier seems to be the best counter. It doesn't take any super effective damage from last year. It's super effective to last year. Can raise its defense against last year. Uh, it gets access to uh, ground type moves, so it can raise a special defense as well. Alright, all right, we got an opponent. Rallying James from Team Rocket. Oh! Uh, I know this. The the Thievel. Uh, it's, this is an interesting team, though. Uh, we got Topo Coco, Thievel. Last year, Volcarona, Bronzong, and Primarina. I really like the way this team looks, but I don't know what it wants to do. And I'm... Um, let me... Let me call out Tapu Lele. And... Let's leave Lele and Lapras. Yeah, I like that lead. And then bring a Scavalier and Dusclops in the back. Yeah, Scavalier's also slower than Glassier, so. I don't use Alchemy a lot, so I might switch Alchemy out for something else. I don't know. Alchemy. I should be using it more, honestly. It's a really good set. I think I'm just afraid to use it. Cavalier. But I do have resonance up, so I should I should be fine. The bronze on just keeps setting up defenses. It's defense. Max Quake. Huh. I would say that's an interesting choice, but I don't blame them, because I have two special attackers out. Ah, That's upsetting. I think it was on him, because if it was on me, I would be kicked out. So now I had to sit through this. That didn't do anything. Set up the rain. <laughs> that okay. That didn't do anything either. Got another opponent, it's fine. It didn't count as a win or a loss, so. Oh, this is a weird team. We got Kafagrigus, uh, Scrafty. Um, I think we're gonna lead Lele and Lapras. Just because they have the best. Like, maybe bring a Scavalier for the. The camel, or the, not the camel, the elephant. Um, do I want Crobat, or do I want Dusclops? Or maybe I can bring the Alchemy? Uh, you know what? Let's do Lele and Alchemy with Lapras and a Scavalier in the back. I just talked about how I don't use Alchemy very often. I would definitely say that I need to get like a fire type or something on my team. But if I can get Lele to use uh or Alchemy to use uh what's it called? Uh decorate on one of my Pokemon. I think depending on what they lead with. Cover is scrafty. I think what I'm gonna do is use is switch Lele into uh, a Scavalier and use Decorate on it. Because I think he's gonna trick room, maybe try and uh, 
fake out, but that's why I call that Lele. So I'm gonna switch into a Skywalier and decorate that slot. And I could Gigantamax my Alchemy if I really wanted to. I'm kind of hoping that he switches his Scrafty out into something. Because, I mean, it's two fairy type but one against a Scrafty. No, he's just going for the fake out. easy enough. I'm going to Dynamax and Max Steel Spike the Coffer Grigas and the Helping Hand the Skyvalier. There goes the Scrafty. Descent to Scorch. I feel like a Max Quake. I mean, it's plus two with a Life Orb, so Max Quake should knock out the uh, Sentus Scorch. So you probably want to come out Scrafty. Um, I mean, I have no reason to not Max Quake and use Helping Hand again. I assume he wants to Dynamax the Scent Scorch or Gigantamax it maybe. I don't think Santa Scorch has that great of uh, uh, defense. And again, I'm plus one, helping hand, Max Quake with a life orb. Dude, you already saw, you can't use, you can't do that. Ooh, just barely. Special Defense Rose. Alright, goodbye, Escavalier. Yep. Unless for some reason... No, okay. I was gonna say, unless for some reason... Um, I think I'm gonna just go into Lapras now. And then use Dazzling Gleam and uh, the Hydro Pump on the Santa Scorch. Come on, Nappy. Hydro Pump and Dazzling Gleam. Uh, I think I might keep the Alchemy. I do still need, like, a good Steel-type counter. But I think I should be fine. Yeah, that minus one the Scrafty gave was what helped, uh... Ooh, Capraja. Another Centiferno on Alchemy. That's fine. 
the Scott Rogers just gonna take a whole uh, Hydro Pump and Dazzling Gleam then. The this should be the end of uh, Psychic Train, so I think what I'm gonna do is I don't know. So I have a Fairy type in the back, so I don't really need Alchemy anymore. Oh, okay. I still have one more turn, I guess. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna Helping Hand. Helping Hand and Hydro Pump the Cop Raja. He's probably gonna try and... Oh, okay, Rock Slide. Um... It should... Ah, oh, that was a crit, that's why. Probably should have protected. Yeah, I should have protected. So dimension turned normal weirdness to battlefield. Um I'm not really afraid of the Scrafty right now. And I don't know how Copraja's uh I should have just double protected. That's what I should have done. But I think that crit definitely mattered. Let me psychic the cop Raja. It should, it should still do a lot of damage. Okay, good. Ah! I returned the favor. Toe chop. Oh, that still did a lot of damage. <laughs> but, uh, unless you have a Focus Sash. I don't even think an Assault Vest will save you from, from this. Awesome! That's technically two wins in a row, I guess. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, it was, like I said, I should have double protected and waited for the trick room to go away, but it's, it, it's fine. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.